your smart mouth Drawing me in and you kicking me out You've got my head spinning No kidding, I can't pin you down What's going on in that beautiful mind? I'm on your magical mystery ride And I'm so dizzy Don't know what hit me But I'll be alright My head's underwater But I'm breathing fine You're crazy and I'm out of my mind Cause all of me loves all of you Love your curves and all your edges All your perfect imperfections Give your Reading. And there you are, there you are, you might be discouraged. 
and give her a little round of applause because I think she's going to be Let us be mothers. We come to you living 
God, who we may know as Father, Creator, or Divine Spirit. We give thanks for your supreme gift of love, and in particular for the love that you have caused to grow between Simon and Christine. On their wedding day, we thank you for the ideal of marriage, with its friendship, its trust, and its sharing. And we ask for your help and guidance in making that ideal a reality. We recognise the tenderness of its ties, the strength of its obligations, the honour of its standing, and above all, its power to guard and develop our human love. Be with us all today and remind us, Simon and Christine, that life is enriched when we recognise that humility in all our relationships, which helps us to be forgiving when we have weaknesses and failures. As we hear Christine and Simon make their vows, may they sense our love and happiness supporting them. And remind those of us who are already in relationships of mystical wonder of the union of lovers. Grant your blessing on all that we say and do today. We ask all of this in the spirit of universal love. Amen. Who gives this woman to be married? That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs>
colors and promises How to be brave How can I love when I'm afraid to fall But watching you stand to come here. Uh, there was two guest lists. You are number two. The first lot couldn't make it. <laughs> so, uh, how'd you feel? Oh, nice one, Chris. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I am honoured to stand here today to uh, give my sister away. Obviously, uh, there should be someone else stood here today, but he can't be here. But I'm sure he would be proud of both of us. Let's get on. <laughs> oh yeah, something like that. <laughs> I'm alright, I'm alright. I'm good. Uh, 
Right, Chrissy, you look stunning today. I'm sure you'd all agree. Bad Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all my memories of uh, growing up with my sister are she was a squinny and she knew the number to child line because every time she'd done something wrong and my mum and dad shouted at her, she would uh, use that against them and say, I'm going to find child line, I'm going to find child line. So that's a fond memory. Did you used to get in trouble as well? Yeah, I used to get in trouble, but she was worse than me. Definitely. It's, it's true, it's true. Um, uh, I'd like to welcome Simon to the family. Welcome, Simon. Uh, the first time I met Simon, oh, I thought, uh, what a taxi driving, <laughs> <laughs> football loving, <laughs> idiot, really. My thoughts haven't really I changed I much. Like football that much. <laughs> He does. He does. Um, but I do like him, and it's nice to have you in the family. Thank you. Uh, should have wrote this down because I can't breathe very well. I mean, anyway, it's too late to get ready now. Yeah, Dean's yeah, done, right. isn't it? Yeah, I'm, so, done. I'm in. Yeah, sorry about that. No, no, you're alright. Uh, uh, I know from my own experience that obviously marriage is hard, it's difficult. Uh, I want you to know that I'll always be there for you. All you've got to do is ask. That goes for you as well, Simon. Yeah. You know, I do most of the asking, so don't worry about it. Service on the taxi won't go on this every yeah. day. Um, I'd like you all to uh, give them a big round of applause, and I hope you both all enjoy the evening. Right, oh, I'm going to start by saying that between me, Red and Google, none of us knew how many toasts we had to make today, so we're probably going to toast everyone. We did look it up, but we couldn't find, could we? So you've got the champagne, don't nick the champagne completely, because this is a dying's wedding and there won't be a refill. <laughs> right, on behalf of my wife and I, I would like to start by saying a big thank you everyone for joining us today on this very special occasion. I'd like to thank you all for the lo lovely cards, gifts and good wishes. Right, so Trish going to start by saying um, thank you to the father of the bride, which I can't do, as we all know Mick passed away four years ago. I'm going to say thank you for Matt for standing in, done a very good job, and I'm sure Mick would be very proud of you. And he'll be looking at him on us today and saying, what would he say? What a bloody hell do you want to go and do that for? <laughs> <laughs> right, so now to the out, I mean the in-laws. Sorry, Chris. Um, Chris and Barry. You look, Chris, you look lovely. Thank Barry, you. very handsome, well done. Thank you, darling. Um, I'd like to say a personal thank you to you both for welcoming not just me, but also Amber into your family. Yeah, you've always made us feel very welcome. And you've also never treated Amber any differently to any of the other grandchildren. And for that, I'm truly grateful. Yeah. Nothing is ever too much trouble where any of us are concerned. You're always there, so thank you. Right, Mum and Dad, what can I say about you? <laughs> I wish you wouldn't. Thank you for all the support you have given me over the years. Nothing is ever too much trouble. It is much appreciated for both of us and for the girls. Um, you have loved and supported me through every stage of my life and I could not ask for better parents. If we do as good a job as you have done, then we will be very pleased. Okay, and... On behalf of Chrissy, I would like to say thank you for welcoming her into the Dines family with open arms. <laughs> flowers for the flowers for the mums. Thank you very much. Thank you. You can share it with me. My parents are sorry. Thank you, love. Right, what are we going to do next? 
It looks a lot, but it's not. Right, now we're going to make a toast. So we should have made a toast to Mick as well. We're doing this all wrong. Can we make a toast to Mick while we're there? Please raise your glasses to Mick. And also a toast for the parents as well. Thank you. Right, so we've done that. What are we on to now? Right, bridesmaids and the one page boy that we had. Uh -huh. uh, Kelly, Anne, Daisy, Nola, Lana and Finley, thank you for being bridesmaid and page boy. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone would agree that you all look beautiful and of That's course handsome. And thank you for all being so well behaved, especially uh, you, Kelly. Should we start with Finley? Uh, we are both so proud of you all and hope you have felt a big part of the day. Finley? Finley? Oh, oh, oh Okay. Then we've got Nola. Over there. It's coming behind you. Right, who have we got next? Friend? Somewhere. Right, I'd like to say thank you to my best man, Rene, for being my best man. You've done nothing but pester me that you haven't had enough to do. <laughs> so thank you. And just knowing you were there has put my mind at rest and, you know, after the conversation we had last night, it really calmed me down. I was a little bit nervous. So thank you for everything. As much as we don't get together as much as we should, I always know you're at the end of the phone. So thank you very much. And there's that. Okay. So I'd like to make a toast. I'm going to do a toast to the wedding party, which are bridesmaids and, and Rena. So please... Oh, from that as well. Sorry. Yeah, man. It's the second floor. You feel left out. It's not important. Don't do this again. The receipt. The, the receipt's in there if you want to take it back. Um, so yes. can we can we raise your glasses to the wedding party, please? Right. There's a special thank you now that goes to Amber and Daisy for putting up with all the wedding talk because it does tend to take over life a little bit. You've well, both been very patient. Well, we're not patient. No, we're not patient. <laughs> but I'm going to say thank you anyway, even if it means nothing to you. And I Chrissy would also like to say a personal thank you to Amber for making us feel so welcome all those years ago and up to now as well because without that, all of this... <laughs> <laughs> say thank you to Joe as well. We've got a bottle outside that you can write all your messages in, put them in there, and on our first anniversary we'll open them up if we, if we make it. Um, okay, so, you can open up. All right, so thank you Joe. I can't see Joe from here. She's over the back, I think. Yeah, she's hiding. Thank you very much. Please keep it clean what you're writing there. Chrissy's easily embarrassed. Right. I numbered these, you're still getting mixed up. Right, now to the wife, to the bar man. <laughs> 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 I wrote it in big letters. <laughs> right, do a good start. I think. <laughs> I forgot a little one. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. <laughs> right, I think you all agree that Chrissy looks absolutely stunning. Yes? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> I'm talking about Chrissy's good points, where do I start? She's beautiful, caring, funny, loving, very good with money, since she's been on the dying sea. And also a very good judge of character, if I do so myself. Right. Um, seriously, Chrissy is all of those things and more. I'm not going to look at you because you will make me cry. Um, I want to say a big thank you for making this day so special. You should definitely take all the credit for it and you've done an amazing job. You're an incredible person, a fantastic mother, and I'm truly grateful that you have chosen me to be your husband, and I will do everything possible to live up to expectations.
Proceed. Right, I will now hand you. I have done everything, haven't I? I've written on the list, but I haven't done everything out of our job. Brilliant. Right, now I'll hand you over to my best man, but unlike many best man speeches which are full of sexual innuendo, he has promised me that if there is anything slightly risky, he will whip it out immediately. <laughs> I forgot to mention Amber got the right chips at Tesco oh. yesterday. So well done for that. Crinkle chips in the right colour, so well done. Wait, she will get the right colour. Thanks very much, Simon. She knows um, chips. I must admit, I've been absolutely dreading this. <laughs> but I should do my best, as you've already heard. But we'll start with some thanks to some trivials. Thanks to Chris and Barry, uh, Chris's mum and stepdad, and also Sandy and, uh, and Alan, Simon's parents. The help and support and preparation for today, I know how much it means to them, Simon's told me. Um, so thank, thanks very much. Um, thanks for Matt, a sterling job giving Chrissy away. Uh, it's problem now, mate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, tributes to the bridesmaid and the, uh, and the page boy. One, you, you all look absolutely brilliant and, and you've done a great job. So thanks to you all. And, and Chrissy, what can I say? You, you, you look absolutely stunning. I hope you're enjoying your special day. And you look just like a princess. Thank you. Um, <laughs> thanks to everybody else for coming. People make occasions, and I know how much it means that you're all here to celebrate the day with Simon and Chrissy. Chris, thanks to everybody else. Okay. It's an honour and a privilege to be asked to be best man. I know this because Simon keeps telling me again. <laughs> I've also learned something from doing it. I now know what pressure is. Before today, before being asked, I thought it was something that the Queen sang about and the car tires. I now realise it's for best men. And um, it's fair to say a year ago, I was six foot six and I was in the I stand here a shadow of the man I was. So and a full weather bed. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Simon came into this world in 1975. That happens to be the same year that the British Conservative Party elected Margaret Thatcher as their, as their leader. She went on to become the Iron Lady. Um, so as Britain braced themselves for female rule and the women making all the, all the important decisions, Simon, uh, Simon was poor. So uh, I'm sure there's no coincidence in that, mate, and I wish, I, I, I wish you luck. <laughs> I've known Simon for a long time, we went to school together, so we've known each other from about 14. Um, we, we went to uh, City of Portsmouth Boys School together, which as the name suggests, and up until a year ago, only took boys. One of Simon's claims to fame is that he's the notable exception to that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd just like to talk now a little bit about a risky, risky subject, and I shouldn't, I apologise now Simon, okay. and Chrissy. Um, I'd like to talk about Simon's first love. Um, Simon met his first love at, at, at school and stayed, stayed with him for all that time. Um, her, her name is, um, is, is football. <laughs> now, Simon was a pretty good footballer. In fact, it pains me to say it, he was far better than me. And, uh, and he, he, really, he really was pretty good. Played in many of the same teams together, from school teams to youth teams. We went into men's football together and more recently we played five sides mm. together. Um, and Simon was pretty good. Graceful was a word that was often used to describe <laughs> Simon. Was I didn't hear him mention that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> elegant on the ball, strong in the tackle. He was often described as the next Justin Fashion. Some people might get that other yeah. 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 Football stayed with Simon through his adult years. Um, still loves it, watches a lot of it, doesn't play anymore, but he's still, still, still well into it. A few years ago, he went out to Germany to watch England in the World Cup, support the boys, had a great time, so I believe. And as any ta taxi driver will, Simon will tell you a good story about it. One of the things he likes to tell you is uh, his time in Germany. When in, when in Frankfurt, he liked to eat Frankfurters. And when in Hamburg, it was hamburgers. 
you'll be pleased to know, you'll be pleased to know that I've put him off his first choice of honeymoon destination. He's no longer going to Cockermouth. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Well, that's crude and there's children present. I couldn't resist. Um, Pretty well up to then. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you, I could spend time talking about Simon's plus points and tell you how good he is at this, that and the other. Um, but none spring to mind. Uh, and it's been a real struggle over the years that I've had to prepare this speech. But I'd rather talk about something that Simon's not said about. Um, and that, in my opinion, is, is decision making. Now, Simon's not been good at decision making in most of the time that, that I've known him. And that started from a very early age. With the first major decision he made being so royally failed. Um, and, and that that choice as a, as a young lad would determine his way in life. Would he become a winner or a loser, a sinner or a son? That decision was which football team to support. Now, you'd think, being a Portsmouth boy, born and bred, blue would be Simon's colour. He'd nail that to the mast and his team would reside at Fratton. Not Simon, no. Simon said, no, blue's not my colour, red's my colour. What force and would choose red, Scanner? Well, I want red and white at least. What force and would choose yeah. red? It was red and white. I know what you're thinking. Early 80s, Simon's, what, 40? It's got to, be, got to be Liverpool then. Could be. Winning everything, top of the league. Mank. Good in, yeah. good in Europe. <laughs> they were yeah. good in Europe, but you know, before my I time. can see how a young, young lad's head would be turned. Yeah. No, Simon says not red. Red and white's my colour. So what could that be? Man United, like his brother, possibly. Biggest club in the land. The years of dominance. Could be Man United. No, not Simon. He says, Guna. red, white, with a little tree on the crest. <laughs> That's my team. They're my colours. That's right, Nottingham Forest. Oh. <laughs> Nottingham Forest. Yeah, oh. Another one in the country, Nick. They were good at the time. Me. one in the country. Only, only Robin Hood. It was Mary Men and Simon who achieved them off in the forest. <laughs> set, <laughs> set him on a life of faith. <laughs> however, however, he made a good decision in his, um, in his stag do choice. <coughs> we had a great day at Fratton Park and a corporate day out. We, uh, we watched the mighty Pompey destroy Dagenham and Redbridge 3 0. All the goals came right in front of us, and yeah. we all had a good day. Yeah. We met, we met, um, we met the man of the match. We had some photos. We had a nice meal, and then we went out afterwards to celebrate. And just to clear that up, we were celebrating not the football Chris, because that was forgotten by that point. We didn't care about it. But we were celebrating today. We were indeed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we went out. And we went for a pub crawl, and we went for a pub crawl around uh, around Old Portsmouth. Most of the people on the pub floor with us were taxi drivers, colleagues, yeah. and friends of, of Simon. Yeah, we were. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, great, this is good, at least I'll get a free lift home. <laughs> Wrong. It turned out to be one of the most expensive nights of my life. And, and it's the first time I've ever taxied from Spice Island to the Stillham West. <laughs> <laughs> there are seven or eight pubs within spitting distance of each other. Every time we left the pub, somebody would say, let's get a taxi. <laughs> it was ka-ching, ka-ching, ka-ching. Now, I wouldn't normally mind, and I wouldn't mention it, except Simon was the driver. <laughs> <laughs> OK. We're going to put decision-making decision to bed now. Simon, in my opinion, has made a cracking decision um, in, in, in choosing Chris here. Um, and you've been quite right to make walk around like a dog with two watches today. Yes, I will. Looking at, looking at Chrissy, you've done yes. everything. Chrissy, as I said at the start, you look just like a princess. You've stunned. And as, as every princess, you deserve a prince. So you, mate, you better, you better thank I will. Like you yes, I, so I am. And I will. <laughs> you married her before she found you. Yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yes, tell Rene that. Handsome dad? Yes, handsome dad. <laughs> handsome dad, yes. I have known Simon for a long time. Um, I, know, I know we don't look it, but it's been over 25 years that I've known Simon for. Um, and I know him to be one of the nicest, 
most likable, honest and trustworthy people you could, you could hope to meet. Um, for most of the 25 years that I've known him, he's been the best friend. Um, and and I'm, I'm proud to say that he's, he's been a constant support for me. And, and I couldn't be happy for him. Thank you. Uh, really Thank you. Um, Chris, I've known you since you met Simon in uh, 2008. You've become a friend as well, and I think you, you complement each other, and you're, you're, you're great for each other. Together, as a couple, I think you make a wonderful couple, and with, um, with Amber and Daisy, you make an amazing family. And I, I wish you both every success in, in your marriage together. Um, I may have joked earlier about it being an honour and a privilege, but it really is an honour and a privilege. So I'd like to thank you both for asking me to be an investment. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, thank you very much. I'd like to leave you with a quote that I came across and, and thought was very nice and very apt. It goes, marriage isn't about finding a person you can live with, it's about finding a person you can't live without. And I, I think you've probably done that. I hope you have. Thank you. I wish you would be lucky. Thank you. Um, okay, I know you're sick of me rambling on. <laughs> Most of you look like you want to eat cake. So, <laughs> before ado is in any way furthered, can I ask you to raise your glasses and toast, please, Simon and Chrissy, Mr. and Mrs. Dines. Congratulations. Thank you, Randy. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet Will your mouth still remember the taste of my love? Will your eyes still smile from your cheeks? Darling, I will be loving you And baby, my heart could still fall as hard at 23 And I'm thinking about how people fall in love in mysterious ways Maybe just the touch of a hand 